What's up, my people? It's your boy, Drew Easy. All right, guys, I got this email last night as I was working, actually. I've been embracing working past midnight, so I've been working past midnight, and I got this email, and I said, okay, what does DoorDash have on their sleeve today? They woke up and wanted violence. No, I'm kidding. So I want to go over the email with you guys. It's a pretty much an update to the Dasher Rewards program, and I didn't know what the changes were. I was reading the email. I'm like, bro, it, looks, it sounds exactly the same. But there's two changes. One of the changes I've noticed. Another change I did not notice until I read a Reddit comment and I said, oh, snap. So this with this change, it's probably not even going to be worth any of these programs anymore. They're like basically making this thing not worth it. But let's but let's read it together. It says here, updates to the Dasher Rewards program. We made some updates to the Dasher Rewards program in your area effective today. So they weren't playing around. They said, hey, we're, we're not going to wait today. Scroll down to see the latest on what rewards you unlock when you reach silver, gold, and platinum levels. Plus, as a part of this change, we're offering dashers like you a one-time opportunity to reset your acceptance rate opt-in below by 822. I am going to go over how the acceptance rate reset works at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. So here are the perks. Unlock perks instantly. Priority access to high-paying orders. Get access to more high-paying orders. Priority increases with each level. So silver is high, gold higher, platinum highest. Okay. Early access to scheduling. Schedule dashes up to six days in advance. Silver is the same. Gold is the same. Platinum is the same. Now, this is the one that I did not realize until I read that comment. It says, priority access to dash now. Be first in line to start dashing when dash now is available. So silver doesn't have it, gold doesn't have it, platinum has it. But the wording, I didn't read it carefully the first time. Pretty much, they are getting rid of the dash anytime, which is pretty much what the high, with a high percentage of dashers even get to platinum for. They get it to be able to dash anytime because their market is super slow and they can never dash now. So they, you know, they accept a lot of bad orders or they'll do earn by time, like how I do it, to get the platinum status, to be able to dash whenever they want. But now... DoorDash got rid of the feature that everyone wanted it the most. Yes, it's good to get higher paying orders. I do feel the difference when you're gold and platinum. You do get high paying orders. That's in my opinion, even though I've I've been doing gold and platinum for the longest and also under 50% for the longest as well. And when you and I so I have a huge sample size. Now, with that huge sample size, I notice a difference. I do get a lot of high paying orders, no matter what day it is, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. No, it's not because you're lucky and this and now. No, you do get higher paying orders. So that helps. But the biggest reason why most and why I do it also is to get to platinum is to get priority access to Dash now. Now it's like not even worth getting platinum anymore. Like you might as well get gold or not even get anything, just schedule. You might as well just schedule. And then hope for the best because you cannot dash anytime at platinum status. Let me know in the comments why you think DoorDash decided to do this. I have no idea why DoorDash decided to get rid of dash anytime, but it's possible. I'm not sure. It's possible that it may be good even for the ones that are cherry picking, the ones that are not any of the tiers, because since platinum status drivers cannot dash whenever they want, there's, it's going to open up slots for for you know everyone else. So everyone has a schedule, even platinum status. So it's possible, it's possible that the slots open up throughout the day. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just assuming. So the rest is VIP support, get routed to top support agents whenever you need help. Platinum has that priority access to more to large orders. Get high value large catering orders, no catering bag required for platinum only. Door discounts on DoorDash. 30% off every week on Mondays to when you qualify. That's honestly not even that bad. 30% off if you, every Monday, you could, you know, treat yourself to some DoorDash and get 30% off. That's not a, that's not bad. All right. You see, so I'm not trashing it completely. So these are the levels. This is the other thing that I, that I think that it changed. Silver status, customer rating of 4.5, 4.5, 4.7 on all of them. I think that's the same. That has been the same. Acceptance rate of 50% on silver, 70% on gold, 70% on platinum. That stays the same. Now, this is what I think. Uh, the 100 deliveries in the last 30 days platinum, that stayed the same. What I think increased was the completion rate. I think it was 90% before. Now it's 95%. And I'm, I'm talking about Miami, Florida. I think New York has always been 95%. And I think their platinum has to be 80% or some crazy number like that. 
So in Miami, Florida, it was not 95% before. I know other markets did have it before, but Miami, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was 90%. Now they re they increased it to 95. And I think I have a 95% completion rating right now. So now I'm like playing on the edge now, which, which sucks, man. There's some orders that you want to cancel that, you know, okay. Your status and perks are updated automatically as your customer acceptance and completion rate changes. Check your status or learn more about the program in Miami in the new and improved rating tab. New and improved. Improved or not improved or, or gotten worse. Okay. How does acceptance rate reset work? In order to reset your acceptance rate, tap the link in your email. You must be the recipient of the email and complete the survey by 822. Today is 816. So I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do earn by time anyway. And then if I don't have it by that time, then I'll do the reset. Your re your request will be processed on 823. In order to see your updated acceptance rate after the reset, you need to start a dash and accept or decline at least one offer. Your acceptance rate will not be reset to a specific number. Instead, it will be determined based on your decision to accept or decline offers post reset. For example, if you get three offers post reset, Okay, guys, this is going to be some math. It's not hard math, but I can see why people will get confused about this. So I'm going to try to read it slowly. For example, if you get three offers, so three offers, guys, remember, three offers, post reset. So after you reset, you do three offers and decline the first, but accept the second and third. That's 67% because it's 30, 60, 33. If you divide 100% divided by three, it's like 33%. 33.3, .3, I think is what it is. So with that being said, I think I confused a lot of people even more. So let's read it again. If you get three offers post reset and decline the first, but accept the second and third, your acceptance rate after the first offer will be 0%. So you don't have an accept, you don't have an acceptance rate. You decline the first one, it is 0% because you didn't accept anything. It was, you're, you're back at zero. After the second order, it will be 50%. So you decline one order, you accepted the other order. That's 50-50. So you're 50% acceptance. And after the third, it will be 67%. So out of three orders, you declined one. You accepted the second and the third. That is 67% acceptance rating. I hope that makes sense. As you dash more, each decision to accept or decline an offer will have less of an impact on your acceptance rate. So it's only worth it if you're like 8% acceptance rating and you want to go straight to 100. But I'm at like 23%. I'm going to do it by time. And then if, uh, if I'm not a, honestly, you know what? I might even do the reset just to be at 100 and only do DoorDash earn by time for the first hundred orders. And then after 100 orders, start playing around with doing earn by offer. I, I could do that. That's a good idea, Juizy. And that is pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I wanted to do a video. I do have a video that I was going to, well, I wasn't going to release it until probably tomorrow anyway so i you know at least you guys get a video it's not a ride along i apologize but let me know what you guys think i'm not motivated to get platinum anymore you know i'm gonna do it just because earn by time helps anyway but it pretty much is not a big of a difference anymore they got rid of the dash anytime so it's not really as appealing as it was before but let me know in the comments but if you made it to the end of this journey though my lovely human thank you for watching don't forget to smash that like button, bro, over to YouTube, bro. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos, me doing delivery, you subscribe to my people. My people, have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good career. Stay healthy out there. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. It's your boy, Joe Let's go.